This is Garen. It's the most hated champion of top lane. Nobody likes to play against it. And that's why you should probably see the last episode if you haven't seen it yet. In the last episode, we got plus 23 LP and we're now at silver 1 with 73 LP. In today's episode, I will teach you guys something new, playing Riven with Ghost. And yes, I'm taking this very seriously. Let's get into it. Now before we start the video, make sure to like the video, subscribe and turn on the notifications, and leave a comment and say hi. Now let's get into the video. Alright guys, welcome back to another episode of the Unranked to Diamond series. We are currently in Silver 1 right now. Um, <clears throat> we're also playing against a bunch of Smurf players. We're still in Smurf queue right now. It's nothing different. Everybody's a Smurf. Now we're currently up against Trinomir. And I want to show you guys a specific setup with this. I've been playing with this setup for a while now. And it's always working so well. Um, basically the setup is the Conqueror page. Then you take Nimbus Cloak. And you take Transcendence. And when you combine Nimbus Cloak with Ghost. You can actually counter Trinomir in such an incredibly easy way. I'll show you how it works. But yeah the idea is quite simple. Uh... You use your ghost as a tool to be able to chase down Trinimir or being able to run from it. So basically countering Trinimir's ghost using your own ghost. I know it sounds absolutely ridiculous, especially when you play champion like Riven. But trust me, I've been using this setup for a while now and it proves itself again and again. I'll show you. But yeah, first of all, we're going to be chilling out here. We're just going to relax. We're going to let Trinomir push it in level 1. Uh, make him do whatever he wants to do. And wait it out for level 3. That's where things will take a turn. Just going to take my shield for now. I'll see if I can try to hold down the wave in this position. Keep it like this. Perfect. Starting off with the first trait. Nice. Blocking his auto attack with my shields. We could kill him right now. Hmm. Ooh, close. Yeah, so you see the idea. Like, you want to try to ghost uh, at the same time like Trindomir does, so that he can't escape from you, right? And even if he tries to run from you, or he tries to, like, uh, all-in you, you can use that to run away as well, so. It's really nice. I like it. Just gonna go for that CS right there. I still have one potion remaining, so we can stay for a little bit. Got the wave in this position. I don't really want to push in too hard, because he's gonna auto and, like, heal up from it. Oh, whoops. I didn't want to miss that one, actually. Okay. Queuing away so we don't actually get the damage. Diana's currently down here. She's right behind this wall. <laughs> I knew Diana was coming here. I saw her moving in the river, so I'm using this this massive wall to like stay away from Diana. That was nice. Good. Now we go back to base, and our first item is definitely going to be a Fage. Alright. Perfect. This is gonna... Fix a lot of problems we have. I will also take Revealable Potion with a ward. I would always recommend buying a ward, guys. Every single time you go back to base, uh, you want to buy a Contra ward. Um, at least if you have the gold for it. All the time. Even if you already have a Contra ward and it's already sitting somewhere in the river or dry bush or whatever, you still want to buy a Contra ward. It's really important because if they take it, you will have the next one ready. We're going to trade him again now. Here we go. Then you trade. Then we back off again. 
We charge up the next Q. Pull the wave right here. He's gonna come in for another, another one. You see that that Trinimir is playing really scared, because uh, he knows that if I trade him, he's gonna lose it really hard. And I got my ghost to chase him down as well, so he can't really run from me. <clears throat> he's gonna go for the cannon. We'll see if I can stop him from uh, from taking the cannon. Nice, stopped him. Great. He lost it. Every single time he goes for a creep, just do everything it takes to trade him and get him low. Do whatever it takes. Alright. Now you hold keep holding the wave like this. Good. The wave will start building up now. I'm going to use that to my advantage. <clears throat> now we now we build up the wave. We want to build it up as big as possible, right? We're not going to push it, whatever it takes. We're not going to give him any CS if it goes down. His ghost should be up right now. Oh, whoops, I missed the CS. Keep building it up. Just have to keep building it. I'm thinking about diving him under tower, actually. Uh, dive. Actually, he's level 6 now, never mind. The wave is massive now, so I can get back to land. Good. Now we go back. We use this wave to go back. We come back with an item, and we should be able to win. I think I'll just buy the Iron Spike now. Look at this. So, the wave is r looking like this right now, right? The wave will now bounce back into me, right? We're coming back with an extra item. That's the best part. So we're we're now actually really far ahead of him as long as he doesn't go back. So I'm going to try to hold out the wave, uh, try to freeze it out, and make him deny like another massive wave. I'm trying to be very obvious with freezing it because I want Trindamir to stay. I definitely don't want Trindamir to go back to base right now. Good. Seems like he's actually going to back to base, which means that he's going to lose like a massive wave right now. So once again, I'm creating like another small advantage from this. You see? We, we're not necessarily getting kills on Trinimir. It's just that we're playing extremely smart right now and constantly denying him more and more of the wave by uh, with what we're doing now. Seems like Trinimir is actually roaming and he got like an assist off. But then again, like he's losing like such a massive wave down here. Look at this. He's losing everything here. We're, all, we're already like one level ahead of him. Just by playing smart. I'm going to hold out this wave as well. Like this. Let's try Gonna use my potion. Okay. He's gonna try to trade me, obviously, because it's not looking good for him. Let's try. Now we keep holding, keep holding it. Most importantly, we just have to keep holding this, guys. Nice. Being able to hold it for another wave. Got him. He did not expect the flash coming. Now we push. And make sure to push this into his tower so he's going to lose this wave as well. 
<clears throat> Place a ward down here. I have to be very careful because Diana could be coming topside. Okay, she's bottom. Good to know. Now we take one more plate and then we go back. Because this plate is very important. It's going to give me boots. Because we already have the Gore Drinker, but we have to get boots right now. Otherwise, we can't chase down Trinomir properly. Especially now that uh, Trinomir doesn't have... Uh, Trinomir has Flash and we don't. Nice. Got this. And we go for another Longsword. Now, we are going to have to rush back to the lane as quickly as possible. Because we don't want Trinomir to get platings, right? We want to avoid Trinomir to get any gold in this game. Because if Trinomir gets going in this game, we have a problem, right? Trinomir is a champion that if it gets ahead, it's it becomes like a really big problem. So we want to avoid that. You shouldn't be getting like any platings. I think he's probably taking the Ripper camp right now, so... I'll push this out. Nice. He's going to come from here. Got another plating for myself. <clears throat> it's gonna come from right here. Mm, doesn't matter if I get hit. Hmm. Hmm. Could kill him right now. I timed out my R and Q so that he couldn't counter it, uh, counter it with his ultimate. I purposely like wait for my uh, to to burst him with my entire combo. You wanna t you wanna try to like time out your damage so that you can instantly take Trinmir down. Get another plate. Now we take this wave for over here. Good. Place a ward down right here. Okay. <clears throat> and now we go back to base after the next wave. And then we will come back with a Lucidity Boots and probably even a Hydra. I'm not sure about that yet because they have a cast it in the stuff. Uh, we'll see. Good. Let's get back. <clears throat> we get Warhammer. Uh, wait, here it is. And another longsword, wards, and a red shrink cut. Currently, like, Kassadin has about five kills, right? But I'm not really worried about Kassadin too much because I have a lot more farm than Kassadin. I have a lot bigger lead than anyone in this game right now, so... I'm not too worried about this game, about the fact that the enemy team is, like, really fed right now. Because I think... I think I can snowball it. As long as I don't make some, like, a major mistake right now, I should be fine. Nice, got it. Trinomir's top side. Let's see if we can dive him on our tower. I got him. I have to get the turret. Nice. Uh, Diana's not really an issue for me. Oh, we could kill her. Thank you. Thank you, too. Okay. 
Get the camp over here. It's being spawned again. Maybe we can get a rep off if it's there. Because I don't think Diana took it. Uh, yeah, it's actually still here. I'll take it as well. And maybe we can get this camp. I'm not sure if it's here. Nah, it's actually not. We got 2.2k gold right now to spend. We can maybe try to all enter in. Oh wow, it failed. His ultimate is still on cooldown, so that was a free kill for me. Push. And now we go back. We got more than 10 CS per minute. We have about 6 kills right now. And uh, we have Hydra now too. We haven't really been able to use Ghost as much in this game yet because we're already like completely destroying Trinomir. But yeah, we got it. We got it for when we need it. Now we go back top again. We do the same thing on repeat. Just farm out pretty much everything we can find. Trinomir's top trying to farm out, so I'll take him down here. Alright, can't run. I got a rep off. Thank you very much. Um, I think they've already taken that camp over there, but I'll check it up anyways. Nope. It's already been taken. Let me farm this out. The next camp is spawning right now. Yep. I can't wait to get the next red buff from them. Mm, seems like Kassan is here. I can instantly delete him if I want to. Not sure where he's, he's going to pass. Yeah. Okay. They are definitely very... They definitely have wards down here. Oh, they have been trapped. That was a bait. Oh, man. I actually thought that Kaisa was really not that smart, but... Ah. Yeah. Exhaust flash, whatever it took to take me down there. That was interesting. Uh, whatever. It's okay. It's fine. I died once. This is really bad, by the way. I don't know who actually killed me. Acid and took the kill on me. That's really, 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 really bad. So yeah, hopefully, hopefully he's not going to snowball now. Because one catch on Cassid means a lot. Actually, he's going to get really fed now. Okay, let's go back top. I'm glad that my team is getting the Drake now. Because otherwise, they would get the third one. That would be bad. <clears throat> Here we go. Push up the next wave, and then we go to then we rotate to, uh, towards the chickens. Oh, he's already taking it for himself. That's fine. Oh, he's taking it? Okay, I'm actually very happy that he, take, that he gave it to me. Hey, Kimo Save, thank you so much for resub two months. Thank you so much, man. Thanks for the YouTube tutorials and streams. A hey, no problem, man. Glad I've been able to help. Thank you again.
I think he might be trapping. I'm not going to fall for anything. I'm not going to fall for whatever Trinity is trying to pull there. My team is taking the Baron right now. The rep off is spawning any second. In two seconds, actually. I'm pretty sure they're going to try to fight for this. Well, they don't. Never mind. I got it. I got him. Didn't necessarily have to ghost there. I actually thought he was going to live. That's why I did. Thank you, Cassian. I need my team to be here. Oh, really? My team is pushing mid. They should be here, actually. Nice. Got another tower. Got my ultimate coming in. But oh, they actually surrender right now. Okay, let's see how much LP we gain from this episode, guys. Let's take a look. I also think I did roughly like maybe 15k damage or something like that. I don't know. 15k, maybe 20k damage. Maybe. Let's take a look. Let's see. Yeah, we're now on plus 25 LP. So we got 98 LP silver one right now. Uh, for the damage, we've done 16.3k damage. And for the runes, this is the runes that we've been using. So the Ghost Nimbus Cloak setup. Um, either way, guys, uh, this episode was being played live on stream. If you want to see me play live, I stream pretty much every single day. Uh, link inside the description below the YouTube video, guys. But either way, thank you for watching today's YouTube video. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace. <clears throat>